Gulf Coast summertime is cumulus clouds, sunshine, and heat. I'm outside NBC 15 studios on a day that is hot, beautiful cumulus clouds behind me, but just about a day ago, it was an entirely different situation. Look at this security camera. What you just saw there was a lightning strike. Now, it may not have been obvious, the video camera didn't catch all of it, but when I stepped outside that evening, I noticed some clues. The first thing that caught my attention was, in the parking lot, there were splinters, which normally aren't here. As I looked toward one of our utility poles, it became a little more obvious. Look at that huge splinter down at the bottom. Now, of course, we had lightning, we knew it in the station, we heard the thunder, but take a look at the pole right here. Look at that line that runs all the way up, and it continues turning to the side, rising higher and higher, and that streak goes all the way to the top of the pole. Now, what may be obvious is our, our tower is to the right of it, it's a lot higher, so apparently lightning struck this light pole went down to the ground on the way down the heat of the lightning which can be hotter than the sun blew off part of the wood in splinters and if you look closely around the base of it in fact if i put my foot on it the ground is soft now there is an ant mound here so part of it could be the ant mound but it is possible the lightning went to the ground and then traveled beneath it it's also possible the lightning went to that fence there and what happens when lightning hits metal objects? It travels a lot farther. So we don't really know how far the lightning could have traveled along this fence, but that's why we always say, stay away from metal objects when you're outside. So lightning, fascinating. Now, if you look at the top of that pole, and you'll follow that line to another pole on the other side of the parking lot, this pole had no damage to it. There's an electrical line on the pole and it's wrapped by a metal cable. You would think the lightning would travel along the cable and possibly impact all of these different utility poles. Well, there's another one here that has a transformer. And this one is more typical of what you'll find in your neighborhood. And there's something unique about utility poles you may have never noticed. And that is when you look more closely at it, there's this one skinny metal cable that goes all the way down to the ground. And when it gets to the ground, you can see it's connected to a rod that is inside the ground. That is your grounding cable. And the purpose of that is if lightning strikes it directly, it'll cause the electricity to go into the ground rather than going to your house. So that's something you wanna make sure that if you have utility poles on your property, that they do have a ground wire into the ground. Now, if you're a golfer, you may have noticed a lot of trees on golf courses actually have grounding wires, too. Trees have liquid on the inside. We call it sap. You remember xylem and phloem, all the liquids that go up and down between the bark and the wood of the tree? Well, when lightning strikes a tree, it can heat that liquid to make it into steam. The steam creates pressure, and then the pressure can blow the bark off of the tree. So when trees are struck by lightning, sometimes they'll have that one skinny line going down the side. The other times it'll become nude, it will lose all of its bark from the heat of the lightning, which can be hotter than the sun. And it also tells you that skinny line, lightning is only about an inch across. But it's those power lines that you've got to make sure are set up correctly around your property. Stay safe. I'm NBC 15 Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals.